All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. What's up, YouTube? So I'm getting ready to replace this belt tensioner. And I, I, I'm going to take this, this opportunity to make this quick video for you guys. Because I have been asked a few times about... When you're hearing that squealing noise, either when you start your car or sometimes while you're driving, how do you know if it's the belt or if it's the pulleys? Well, I'm going I'm to give you a couple of things to check out so you guys, hopefully it'll help you, all right? Now, generally, if it's the belt, there's two ways that you kind of can lean towards the belt. Number one, if it only makes the squealing sound when it's cold, there's a good chance it's the belt. Because what happens is, if the engine is cold, it's the first start of the day. If that's the only time you hear it, a lot of time it's because the, the rubber is hard. The rubber has gotten hard, and as the engine warms up, the rubber gets soft. So it's, it's getting a better grip. It's making better contact and get a grip. So a lot of times when it's hard, what you're hearing is it's slipping. So it's making a screeching sound because... This rubber has not made the tight enough contact to keep it quiet. That sometimes happens from incorrect belt. Sometimes it happens just from buying a cheap belt. Either one. But usually, once the engine is warm, the belt, the rubber of the belt gets soft, and then it will grip it much better, and you won't hear it. Now, I'm saying that that happens the first start of the day. So... If you're getting in and out the car and it doesn't do that every single time that you start, chances are it's the belt. Sometimes people spray like a belt dressing. I've even seen videos where people put deodorant on the belt, like trying to quiet it down. If the sound goes away with anything that you've done, chances are it's the belt. Now, the pulleys. The pulleys is a little different. If the pulley is a problem... Or you suspect the pulley might be a problem. This is the easiest way to do it. What you want to do is loosen your belt. Take it off your tensioner. For different cars, it's going to be different. But either way, there's a tensioner that you usually just have to pull back. And it will loosen the belt where you can remove it. So that's the first thing I do is remove the belt from all of the pulleys. Then all you have to do is turn it. Turn all the pulleys. If you don't hear anything... See like that, it's nice and quiet. I could turn this one, nice and quiet. Power steering pump, nice and quiet. I reach around the water pump. I know you guys can't see it, but it's nice and quiet. And then would have been the, the tensioner and the eyelid pulley. You can just turn those and see. Hold on. Here's another one. Here's the eyelid pulley. Nice and quiet. So if you've turned all of them, now this one has a bad tensioner pulley, so that's why I'm getting ready to replace it. But the tensioner pulley is the one that was making the noise. So in yours, when you turn it, if you're hearing that squeaking at the speed that you're turning it like this, and you're hearing a squeaking sound, that's going to be your problem. Uh, now, what you need to do is replace that as soon as possible. Because what's going to happen is that bearing is dry. And at some point in time, the bearing is going to lock up. And once it locks up, it generally snaps the belt. Which means you're going to lose your steering. You're going to lose your alternator. You're going to lose. You're, not going to, you're going to be driving strictly off the battery. The alternator will not be charging. Your steering is going to be hard to turn. Your car is probably going to overheat. Uh, because the water pump is not turning. In some vehicles... Your water pump is connected to um, the uh, cooling fan is also connected to that belt. So you're going to lose all that. You're going to overheat. You're not going to be able to steer. And the car is not going to be charging. So that's why I always recommend that people do this as preventative maintenance. Now, I'm going to leave some links below where you guys can get, you know, your idler pulleys, your tensioner pulleys, your, your serpentine belts. These are things that you should include. A lot of times when people tune up their cars, they don't replace these things. But these are things that if you've bought a car and you've never replaced it or you have no idea how long it's been in there, this is things that you may want to do as preventative maintenance. All right, so that's it. Nice, quick, easy video. 
Um, at the end of this video, I am going to include the pop-up of what happens if you do not replace these things. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't replace it. All right, YouTube, it's going to pop up at the end of this video. So on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one.